been using these front runner storage boxes for quite a while, I think over 10 years. And I think it's time I did a long-term review of what I like and what I don't like about them. Hey everyone, it's Duncan from Overland Journals and welcome to another weekly video. If this is your first time into my channel, well, welcome aboard. My channel is all about sharing my experiences in overlanding with the rest of the community. So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Now in this video, I wanted to do a long-term review on these front runner storage boxes. I have had, I've been using these for over 10 years and I particularly do like them. And I'll talk about why I like them in, in this video. I carry six of these, I got two on the roof, I've mounted them on the roof, I will also talk about in the video, and then I carry four in the slide out, which I've got in the back of the wagon. Now, there are certain things you need to keep in mind if you're considering these, and there are certain weak things I don't like about it. I do need to mention, I am not sponsored by any way by uh, Frontrunner or any of their dealers or retailers. This is purely my thoughts and it's an honest review. Let's start with what I like about these boxes. First and foremost, I like how light they are. They come in and I think they come in under three kilos empty. Um, I'm very conscious about weight because I carry a whole lot of gear when I travel, particularly when I travel remote overland in Australia. So I carry a whole lot of stuff. So weight is very important to me. I don't want to off overload the 4B. And these came in really, really light. Secondly, they are made out of very tough plastic. So I've abused these over, over the years and they're very, very tough. I've put them through a whole lot of abuse. I've had no problem with them. There is one thing, however, that does not stand up to the abuse. I'll talk about that a little later in the video, so keep watching. And the other thing I do like is they're very modular. Um, they got these um, locking uh, design underneath the box and also on, on the lid itself. So the beautiful thing is when I plunk them on top of each other, they lock into place and they don't move about. So I love, so it's, it's like a modular way of packing as far as I'm concerned, which I really like. And the other thing is it's got grab handles on the side over here. They've got grab handles, so it's easy to grab. So what I normally do is when I get, to, I, before I go on a trip, I pack according to the way I want, what I want and things that I want to access when I get to a campsite. I might even, depending on how long I'm going on a trip for, I you know, I split the days up or the weeks up and I pack accordingly. And then I stack them at the back here. And then when I get to a campsite, it's so easy for me because I know which particular box I need for that particular night or particular stay at a camp. So I grab one box and then I'm good to go as far as my camp setup is concerned. The other thing I like about these boxes is the amount of space that's available in these boxes. You can put a considerable amount into these boxes, uh, very generous space and volume. Now, as far as dimensions are concerned, amount of volume, that's available to you. I'll put them all in the description below, so go check that out. Now, also another thing, keep watching this video because there's two different volumes that you can get in these boxes. So I'll talk about that a little later on. By the way, at the end of this video, if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions relating to this particular video or you just want generally to learn about how I pack my 4x4 or anything else, please leave the questions in your comments below. Not what I don't like about these boxes. To be quite fair on the product, I do like a whole lot about them. But there is one thing that I don't like. And over the years, I've always found that these plastic latches, they tend to break quite easily. Now, how the latch works is that uh, you know, as you close it in, you put a bit of pressure at the center here and press it down. Once it's locked, it stays really locked, pretty awesome. But if you put a little bit of more pressure in the middle here, they tend to break. That's something I've always found a bit annoying, but then it's the way it is. So the solution is, if you are thinking of getting a set of these boxes, buy a, a set of spare latches. Now, before I get to some of the things you need to keep in mind, if you're considering one of these boxes or a set of these boxes, let's talk cost and where to buy these. Now, you can buy them directly from the Front Runner online store if you wanted to, or you, if, it doesn't matter whether you're in Australia or overseas, Front Runner is represented in many parts of the world. Or you can walk into one of the, if you're in Australia, walk into one of the Front Runner or 
any other off-road accessory or camping retailer and i'm sure you can find these so do a bit of research but you can find and they come in around 45 australian dollars per box they are not dust or waterproof however the way the design is and where the, the lid locks into place if water comes in from above so more like rain if water comes down it does not get in i have had the two i've got on my roof i've gone through really really heavy rainfalls and not a single drop got in so it's it's not waterproof so keep that in mind you can't submerge this in water but however it does keep water out as long as the water is coming from above and pretty much you know not too bad from the sides either it's the way the lid locks into place also because of the way the lid locks into place i've hardly come across dust finding its way into the box and you would have noticed there are holes on the side here on every side on these holes do not go into the box these are mainly used if you want you can latch them down and that's how i've done it on the roof so what i've done on the roof is i've, I've using rubber straps I, uh, i've strapped them down to the roof rack and that they stay in place okay so i did say to you that there is two different volumes you can get in these boxes and here's what it is so when you buy these boxes they come with this flat lid so as you can see this lid is flat and this is what you get for the 45 dollar price that i mentioned earlier however depending on your packing style or how much you want to pack or what you want to put in here and also the space you got available to try and get that maximum out instead of the flat lid you can get one of these raised lids as well now this is an optional extra uh, in australia i think it costs roughly about 15 to 16 aussie dollars so you can get a raised lid and this gives you a considerable amount of more space now to give you a comparison that's your flat lid which comes standard with the box and that's your raised lid now the raised lid you get more space on the inside now coming back to what i said earlier about these clips breaking one of the things is every time you buy a lid or you get an optional extra lid it comes with its own set of clips so what you can do is then the clips on on the flat lid which is no longer used you can then keep them as a spare set so to give you an idea of how much i can pack in one of these boxes so i carry four boxes as i said in in the wagon and two on the roof so in the wagon out of the four boxes three boxes i carry you know dry foods and whole lot of other stuff that we need for camping but th the fourth box is my spares and fluids for the 4b and pretty much every spare part and liquid that i carry with me sits in the one box so let me show you what's in it so that'll give you a rough idea of you know how much you can pack into one of these things so as you can see in here i carry all this so i've got my spare v-belts i've got all the fluids that i need i carry uh, spare air filters i will do another video another time where i talk about what i carry as space there's a separate video but this whole idea here is to give you an idea of how much you can pack into one of these things and on top of that i carry all these other bits and pieces which all sit in here including a spare set of hubs and all this so there's considerable amount of space uh, in these boxes and if you take a look at it I've, because i'm using one of the high lids the raised lids i've still got a fair bit of space i can pack stuff into and as i said earlier very lightweight if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because i'll see you next week in another video